How do you do guys? Welcome to today's edition of Programming Users TV. In this class, I'm going to show you guys how we can pass a dictionary from our backend code in Flask Python to the front end. As you can see right here, we pass them, then we render them in these materialized CSS cards. Now you can see we are able to show first we have the Galaxy name and then the Galaxy description. Now, if I come and click the show button, then I show the galaxy the current galaxy's name if on the other hand i go and click the view i show its description so this is what we're going to build right here in flask now we're passing all these from the backend code to the frontend code okay so join us we get started so first and foremost we come right here create our project as you can see this is our project structure we have the static folder inside it we have the css then we have the materialize.main.css as well as style.css. Now this is a library we're using, materialize CSS. Okay. You can download it from online. Just search materialize CSS. We're all interested in the CSS file as just a single file. Then if we come to our style.css, this is our style. Take note that our width we're giving 50 for a single list item. Okay. Now we come, we have under the templates, we have the index.html and then we come to our flask list.py so right here we're going to import both flask as well as the render template so while well, we're using visual studio code so we come right here then we're going to instantiate our flask passing in the name right there and then hold the flask instance in this particular app then we come right here then as you can see we're going to first define our route okay so we come this right we decorate our index we create a function called index and we decorate it with this particular route so at up to route basically we are routing this index function to the root url so if the user navigates to the root url this function will get executed and what will this function do well it will just invoke the render template then we pass in our html template right here and then some strings that we're going to pass for example we have amazing universe we have th the header will pass the subheader will also pass from python to our ginger template the list header will also be passed okay then we'll also pass uh, obtain get galaxies right here which will return for us a dict or a dictionary and then we pass it to of course the template to the ginger template or to our view the site title will also be passed so let's come create this method or this function that we're calling get galaxies now this function will be returning a dict okay so a dict in python or a dictionary now we come create the dictionary and then specify its data then we come check if name equal to main then we're going to say up the run debug and that's what we're going to do right there that's our flask.py Let's now move over to the index.html. So under the index.html, first we specify our HTML document, then the header section, then the body section. Now under the header section, you can see we're going to be showing the title. Now this right is a ginger expression that we are wrapping in the double curly braces. So the site title will be retrieved from our Python code. As you can see, site title would specify it right there. Okay, so we come now we're going to reference our css files now take note of how we're referencing how we're referencing the css this particular static files well we have the url for function this is also a ginger expression okay so url for function then we're targeting the static folder then the file name is css slash materialize.min.css now we do the same thing for the style.css then we come we're going to create the navigation bar remember we're using the materialize materialize css theme you can see it's giving us this nice user interface then we come right here and we're going to have this container then we have we're going to pass the header also and render it in a ginger expression right here then the subheader also and then we're going to now come and then loop through our dict or our dictionary our python dict so we come 
for galaxy description in galaxy dot items okay as you can see galaxy and description in galaxy dot items then we'll be coming right here and then creating our materialized css card and then coming and saying galaxy so this is a ginger expression is going to display the galaxy right here and then the description will show just below it then we're going to have the card action parts where we're going to have our action buttons when a galaxy is clicked we'll click we'll invoke the show and when the on click f uh, when the view okay when the show is clicked we'll show the galaxy right here as you can see we're passing in a ginger expression now when the view is also clicked we'll also be invoking we'll also be showing the description okay we'll show the description so show we show the galaxy or view we show the description of the galaxy then we make sure that we end our for loop then we come we define the footer part of the site we specify the footer part of the site right here and then yeah that's all we need to do we we'll now just come and then click to start okay we need to come right here and then click run to run the project so it's telling me that code is already running now all i just need to come is just make sure that i refresh and you can see it's running perfectly so i click show right here and you can see the cosmos redshift i click view you can see it show us okay so the our app is working perfectly now of course this is right here the flask we've seen flask and ginger 2 template so this is going to act as a foundation for tutorials that you're going to be doing in the future so like the video make sure you guys subscribe to our channel programming users tv and take care i'll catch you in the next class